Hi bubblies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rachie and today I have just gotten off the wagon and I have arrived at Hoodwinked SMP. And you're probably wondering, Rachie, why the heck is your hair blonde? Don't worry, I I haven't dyed it blonde in real life or anything. Like that's not that's not why my hair is blonde. Actually, my hair is blonde because I'm meant to represent a fairy tale character. And my fairy tale character is Aurora. And if you guys don't know, Hoodwinked SMP is basically an SMP where all of us get to continue our fairy tale character stories on Minecraft. So I'm super, super excited. If you guys don't know who Aurora is, she is basically the Sleeping Beauty. So I might get a little bit contagious and, you know, just start getting sleepy sometimes. Um, throughout the episodes because you know, I am supposed to be sleeping beauty after all so yeah um, But yeah, I have just arrived at the fantabulous world of hoodwinked SMP This is the wagon that I just got off of so um, I guess I'll show you guys inside so we climb up the ladder and then we have Misty. Welcome to Hoodwinked SMP. Glad you were able to make it here safely. After the witch's disaster, all fairy tale characters had to escape and make their way here to the new world. Outside this wagon is the Hoodwinked Spawn, in which you will meet many more fairy tale characters. Hope you enjoy your stay and good luck on your new adventures. Well, thank you, Misty. So, yeah, guys, this is the wagon. We got some food. And then upstairs is just like a little study area, it seems. And what's up here? Oh, okay. So this is like a little sleeping area. So yeah, that was the wagon. So that's pretty cool. It's a really, really big wagon. Um, but anyway, here we are. We are at the hoodwinked spawn. There are some adorable vegetables here. I, I think this is a turnip from what it looks like. And here's the entrance. There's just cute little bees everywhere and then once you come in here there's a bunch of different little buildings this looks like a totem head i don't even know what that is guys what the heck is that <laughs> um but i just really like how they implemented the bees i don't even know how they did that because this is literally 1.12 so Good, just good job, guys. Good, good job on that because I, I don't, I don't even know if there's maybe, maybe there's like a mod that implements bees in 1.12, but that's really, really cool. So we've got a cute little pond here, and we also have a couple buildings that I guess I should go around and explore. Oh my gosh, there's like a huge clock, and that looks so cute because of my texture rack, I think. But that looks so pretty. I think that's a clock. Hopefully that's a clock. Um, so this is the Hoodwinked Bank. And the currency for the server, I believe, is these coins. So we can come here to the bank and trade in our ingots and fallen stars, whatever that is. And diamonds and emeralds for some coins. And that is the currency of the server. That's how we get some money to spend it on other stuff. So up here, ooh, this looks so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this place so much. It looks, it looks kind of like vintage, but at the same time, it looks so cute because of the texture pack that I am using. Okay, so there's also something over here, which I'm not sure what it is. It is the quest hut. Oh, okay. So right now it seems like the quest hut is empty, but I'm so excited for people to come over to our quest hut and um, leave quests for me to do. That's going to be super fun. Okay, so let's go see what's over here. This is like the major building, it seems, because it's such a humongous building. Like, guys, look at the, look at the hugeness of this building. It's so nicely made, too. Alright, so this is the town hall. Ooh. <gasps> Guys, this is so cute. I'm sorry, I'm just like so amazed. <laughs> and look, there's like a deer head in there. I, I don't know what animal that is, but um Oh, I wonder what this is. Okay, these are these seems like command blocks, and in here there's nothing. 
And in here, there's a Hall of Fame, which seems to be under construction at the moment. And, alright, let's see upstairs what there is upstairs. So, upstairs we have the list of players. So, as you guys can see, there's a bunch of players here. And there's me, when I was not blonde. <laughs> and what else is here? It seems like a cute little study area in this corner. Gosh, I love it. I love it so much. First mushroom helmet, first totem of undying, first elytra. Whoa, so I guess this is like achievement board. So let's look around here. Oh, there's some like rooms in here, but like there's nothing. And what about over here? Seems like a library. There's another staircase going up. Oh, this is also under construction. Okay, so I guess we should head down downstairs and check out the teleportation room. Alright, so it's down through here. And here is the humongous hallway of all the members that are part of the Hoodwinked SMP. And since I joined super, super, super late, I'm not even on the first floor. I am all the way at the end of this second hallway. Here I am, Aurora, Waity Gaming. All right, so this is my little teleportation room. And they also left some goodies for me in here. So they left a stone shovel, a stone axe, some fairy bread, which I actually already took one and ate it because I was starving before starting to record the video. We also got a backpack, a bed, some trail mix, a stone pickaxe, and a stone sword. As well as my own little quest book. And that is just so cute. So let's just go upstairs and let's get started because I need to do these quests. Okay guys, so we have made it outside of the town hall. Huh? And just before I leave this beautiful spawn, I want to look at this shopping district that is right behind me. There's like a huge flag here. And there are some little markets here where we can get some stuff. And this seems to be a graveyard. Uh, I'm not going to read that story right now. Um, but we have like some markets. This is the wood market, which we can use some coins to get the wood. And we also have Book Peep here. She sells wool. And we also have some decorative heads. Oh, these are cute. Okay. And as you guys can see, there's so many different things, like, in this spawn. It's ridiculous. There's also some metal crates, which you get these metals for playtime. And then I guess that you can trade them in for some goodies. And we also have a terracotta market in here. So that is super, super, super cool. Um, I think that's gonna be it for the spawn. I'll still do one more roundabout just to make sure that i looked at everything oh this is so cute there's like an archway here oh that's beautiful oh okay i think these are the player shops maybe the bri the bri bryads or the dryads apple acres farm oh this is so cute so there's nothing here yet i think so it's still under construction, but I'm guessing that this is the shopping district for all the players to set up their shops, which is super, super cool. There's a lot, a lot of space here. So hopefully I can make my own shop. Maybe I'll make a bed shop since I'm Aurora after all. Whoa, there's like floating harp and star particles. Like what? What is this world? Why is it so magical? Okay, since I've gone over all the shops, I guess now I'll start looking at my quest book. So here we go. Aurora's quest. Craft a spinning wheel from bewitchment. Have three pixies in jars. Red, green, and blue. And craft a pair of evil wings. Whoa, okay. That is a lot to take in because I don't know how to do any of that. So... 
yeah, this is this might be a little bit more difficult than I expected. So let's start with the spinning wheel. How do we craft this? We're going to need some type of sugar cane. Oh, we can also use some sticks, some string, and a spruce heart and birch planks. So how do we get a spruce heart? We need a spruce sapling. Okay, and we use it in the witch's oven. So we need to make a witch's oven, which we make with iron ingots and iron bars. So I guess what we should do now is just look for a place to live because I'm going to need to set up my camp and get all my materials. So go caving just so that I can finish these quests. So I guess we'll get on over in this direction. Oh my gosh, that scared me. We'll travel over in this direction and see what we can find. Ooh, there's like a little pixie hovel thingy here. And I really like I really like how these look. So I'm actually gonna collect a couple of them. Okay, thank you. I was about to I was like thinking, what if I can't collect them? Because I've never actually tried to collect these because I've had no use for them. But now since we're living in such a like a fairy tale kind of um story place thing i don't know i thought it would be super cute to have like some little tiny um nope oh i should also get these litter pads too some cute tiny hovels around my home now that i remember i think that you actually that i actually have collected those before in one of my richie craft episodes so i guess i just forgot these sounds are like scaring me. I think it's those pixies up there. But they're really loud and scary and it's just ugh. So if I'm not mistaken, Aurora was kept in a tower high up in the sky. So I was thinking that maybe I could build... Oh my gosh, I'm getting really annoyed of these sound effects. It might honestly be my texture pack. I don't know what's causing the sound effects. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm hoping to have a tower as my house. That way it can be like Aurora's tower where I spent most of my time sleeping. Because in reality, this character fits me perfectly because I'm, I'm literally a sleepyhead in real life too. So, <laughs> perfect character. <laughs> Okay, so I actually really like these flowers, and I should actually also collect some vines or maybe some thorns if I see them in the way. Although I don't have shears at the moment, so I can't collect the vines, but at least I remember where they are. So I actually kind of like that sound effect. I actually kind of like this biome because it's kind of like a forest. And I actually don't know where Aurora's tower was. I don't know if it was like in the middle of... Oh, I almost fell. <laughs> I don't know if it was like in the middle of a forest or where the heck it was. What is that? What the heck? What is this structure that I have just found? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! No! <laughs> Not like this. What? What just happened? I got incinerated by a dragon, apparently, even though I didn't even see a freaking dragon anywhere. What? I am like so terribly confused. What the heck? Okay, well, guys, I'm gonna leave off the episode there since, um, yeah, I kind of just appeared back at spawn because of that dragon that was apparently there, even though I didn't see one. Like, dragons are so big. Like, you would think that I would see a flipping dragon, but no, it must have been invisible or something because I didn't see it. So, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, then make sure to press down that like button as well as leave any comments suggesting what I should do for my house or if you guys like the um tower idea as well as subscribe to be part of the bubbly family so thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you guys next time bye, -bye.